Expert. Hey guys, this is Roscoe with PartsPeople.com. I'm the voice behind all the YouTube how-to videos. I've been getting some requests to uh, show how to replace the hinges or the, key the keys on keyboards. And since there's such a wide variety of keys and keyboards, I figured I'd uh, grab a few and show you how to do them real quick. I'm going to remove good keys on this keyboard just so you can see how they can function. After that, you know, you'll, you should be able to figure out how to replace them on your own. On some of the longer keys, like the space bar, the inner key, or the, the shift key, you might see this longer hinge on it, the metal hinge. When you're replacing the key, make sure the clips on the bottom of the key are not broken or loose or cracked. Before you remove the key hinge, you'll notice there's usually three or four connecting points where the, the hinge actually clips to the keyboard. Sometimes you can bend the hinge enough to remove it from the connecting point on the keyboards, but a lot of times you're going to actually have to bend the metal, the aluminum metal, over so you can loosen up a little bit. After replacing the key hinge, make sure that it pivots freely on the keyboard. Place the metal hinge onto the connecting points on the keyboard. Press the key down until it locks onto the hinge. For a regular letter key, the hinge is slightly different. Be sure to check the clips on the bottom of the key to make sure they're not cracked. Also notice that there are four connecting points on this key. On this key, it's easier to remove the bottom side of the hinge and then slide the top part off. Here you can see the bottom connecting point for the hinge. And here are the top two connecting points. Just slide the hinge on and clip it into place. Press the key onto the hinge until it locks into place. Here are three different K keys so you can see how the hinges range. And here are three different inner keys showing the difference. And lastly, the rubber under the key. If the rubber under the key is damaged, it will make it where the key does not respond properly. Uh, you can see that here where I removed one and the key just does not click back up. If this happens, you can try gluing the rubber back down, but usually you're going to have to replace the keyboard. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'm out. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for choosing Parts People for your video tutorials.